behind the camera. And we're going to teach you how to use a Trimble M3 total station. You need safety vests, a tape measure, a tripod, a bipod, a reflector, walkie-talkies if you want them, and the total station itself. And so I'm going to show you how to set up a tripod with a Trimble. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is unlock the legs and set this to the right height. So you want it to be at about between chin and uh, shoulder height. And then you leave off the legs. And then we're going to set up the legs. So you want to find, for one of the legs, you want to find a point in the ground where it'll sort of stick, just like a crack or something like that. And so then you set up the other two legs, not too far apart, and you're going to use these two legs, these back two legs, to level the tripod. So we're going to put the trimble on the tripod. So first thing, you've got to get the plates lined up so that these are parallel. And then down here is a screw that you're going to use to screw into the trimble space. And it sort of helps sometimes to sort of lift it up a little bit to check and see where your center's at so you can get it in there. And then once you've got everything set, you screw it in, tighten it down, and then you're good. We're going to set up the total station and get it level. Uh, now that it's on the tripod, we're going to first we're going to turn it on, and you do that by hitting this green button here. And once it's turned on and ready to go, we're going to go into general survey, and then into instrument, and then to electronic level. All right. So uh, the level shoots a laser at the ground. So we want to set our laser in the center bubble there. And to do that, you keep the legs locked, and you're going to move these legs forward or backward to get your bubble on the center. And remember, this is your station leg. It doesn't move. All right, that's close enough. Once you've got the laser on your point on the ground, now we're going to get the, the system level. So the um, computer here has a, a very detailed level, but we're just going to use this for um, the precise leveling uh, towards the end because this is really finicky and it, it, it takes a while to update. So there are two different options. Uh, one, there is also a little computer level here to tell you uh, where you're at as far as the bubble goes. And then we also just have an old fashioned bubble here under the system. So we'll use, um, we'll use this system here. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get this as close to center as possible, just using the legs. Um, that way you've got um, more wiggle room later when you're doing uh, the fine tuning. So if you're not really good at it yet, I would recommend starting with one leg um, and then lock it and go to the other one. So we need to move this up a little bit without moving this total station. All right, and we're gonna go this way, pull the other leg a little bit. Uh, using the legs, we've got the bubble in the center of our level here. Uh, we're gonna turn this around, and we're gonna look at the computer screen to get a more precise level. You use these knobs. This, this one here is the horizontal, or vertical. And this one here is the horizontal. So we're gonna move these to get our system level. We finished adjusting the level. You know when it's level when all of the three bubbles are in the green. So now that we're level, we're going to hit accept and move on to the next thing. All right, so now that we have our total station set up and leveled, we're going to get some information uh, to input into the system. Uh, so the first thing is we need the height of the total station from the ground to this little um, crosshairs here. So we're going to get that height and we're going to record it for putting it into the total station. Now we need to set up our bipod and reflector. The first step that you need to do is make sure that your reflector is secured into a crack or something that will not move. Then you take the other two legs and you set them out and you use the buttons on top to push and move the legs, leveling them using the bubble level. Once your reflector is nice and leveled, you need to set the height of your reflector to make sure that it is in line and visible from your total station. Use the knob to tighten the height, and then using a tape measure, you need to measure the height of your reflector. Measuring from the ground nearest to the center post all the way to the center of the reflector as indicated by the arrow. 
Record this number to the nearest one hundredths of a foot. Now that we have the height of our um, total station and the reflector, we're going to put, input that information into the total station. So we're going to go to Instrument, Survey Basic, and we're going to set, uh, you'll need to check on the local weather and check for the pressure and the temperature. Um, and today it's a balmy 60 degrees and 33, 30 inches of um, mercury. Uh, next, to set up um, our instrument height, we're going to go here to set. And target height here, that's going to be the height of your reflector. And so we're going to input that information here uh, just using the keypad. We've entered our target height here, and we do so. The delete button is this top one here, and then these are the numbers to use to enter the height. Uh, once we've entered the, um, the numbers, we go in here, hit this arrow, and select our units, which in this case are U.S. survey feet. Um, once we've got the height of, of the reflector in, we input the instrument height. Um, again, here's the delete button, and these are the numbers used to enter the, the um, height. And we go here to do the units. And then hit accept. All right, so now we have our instrument aligned with our reflector. We're going to use this peep sight up here to, to take that first shot and make sure that we're lined up with it. And then once you've got it in your sights there, we're going to move down to the instrument's um, sight here. This can be uh, focused, the image itself, using the top um, wheel here to focus the image. And then this one here focuses the crosshairs that are in the uh, in the, the viewfinder. So once you've got the crosshairs focused and everything's crystal clear, you use these two knobs to move the crosshairs horizontally and vertically to get them exactly center on the reflector. Now we're gonna take a measurement. Uh, first, we're gonna zero our system so that our horizontal angle goes to zero. And that's close enough to zero. Now we're gonna hit measure. So this tells us that the slope distance between the tremble and the reflector is 12.5 feet and the vertical angle is at 89 degrees. In order to do a reverse shot, first we flip this part of the tremble until the laser side faces us and then we're going to turn the tremble clockwise 180 degrees and now we are set up to take our reverse shot. So after uh, you've taken all your measurements and you've wrote all your notes down in your lab notebook, ready to go home, so now it's time to deconstruct the total station. First, you want to turn off the machine by hitting the power button, and when this message pops up, you want to hit options, and then shut down. This one, yes, you want to hit this. And that shuts off your station for you. And the first thing you want to do is to carefully take off the station by uh, turning this left here seat. And if this comes off, you want to store this back safely into the case where you brought it out from. The station's on and safely in case it's time to reconstruct this. You want to first unlock all the lights. Make sure you lock those in. Lock it. That's how you deconstruct the tripod. When you're ready to deconstruct that tripod, you want to make sure to first put this down by unscrewing this uh, screw right here. Make it a little bit looser. Carefully slide it down and you want to tighten it back up so it doesn't. Now they're all the same level, it's all secure and tight, you can carry it safely back to the lab.